So my throttle body is acting up. So when I get ready to come to a stop, the car start jerking. So what, I, what I'm doing is putting the car in neutral or if the car start jerking really hard, I just kind of, I put the car in neutral. My car is jerking real tough because of this throttle body. And by the way, this is a 2010 Dodge Caliber. I'm getting ready to replace this throttle body in the 2010 Dodge Caliber. I'm gonna show you what, what I'm gonna do to take this off. I'm gonna try and make it quick. This is a 5 16th right here. Taking all this off. Loosen that up. I take this little red clip out of this and then squeeze like that. This is a 13 this is a 13 millimeter for the battery in my opinion getting this um, this radiator hose off I guess is the hardest part but when I pull it off you will see it's gonna start leaking uh, antifreeze so you gotta squeeze the clip and kind of pull on it. <laughs> Trying to get a good angle so you can see this. Uh, I got the gloves on because the hose is hot. Uh, here it come, baby. Watch this. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna rinse some of that off. <laughs> See the steam still coming from it. So let me tell you, this piece is actually sitting directly on the throttle body. It's like directly on it. So once you kind of wedge your socket in there, a 5 16th in there, and you know, do whatever you gotta do, loosen it up. I may have found an easier way to do this. I got my socket on there. <laughs> and I'm turning it with this hand out to loosen it up some. It's kind of tight, but let me see if that works. I know I'm on there. Oh, yeah. Like that. I'm sitting that to the side. I'm sitting all of this stuff to the side. See? And that's my throttle body. That literally just sitting. Sitting right there. Let me see if I can see it. Let me zoom in on it. Boom. You see that throttle body? It's literally sitting right there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this off. I would say the hardest part you're going to run into is really taking this off. The reason why I think it came off so easy this time is because about a week ago I actually took I actually took my uh, throttle body off to clean it because my car been jerking and acting real crazy. So I pushed this red clamp down and it's a little latch right underneath the red clamp I'm squeezing in 
and I'm using this as a wedge like that because I need this out of my way like that and there's also a little clamp on the throttle body yeah I pretty much had to squeeze this, this side right in and pull it out so let me move this to the side is a um, on a throttle body there's four screws and then there's one screw into it like some kind of clamp so I got this this 10 millimeter and that should take care of these four screws right here these four bolts or whatever they are so that's a 10 millimeter I'm gonna speed this up So I had to get a straight shot to the bottom. Like, like, oh man, it's right at it too. Like so that's that bottom screw. And my engine only been off. Like I, I only drove the car for about. 20 minutes today, but I need to get this done because my daughter has to be at school, so I don't have the time to play around with this. Now you might be saying, oh, you got an impact drill, just keep your hand on the trigger, but I still, you can still strip a screw with, with even with an impact drill. So that's why I kind of do this, one of these numbers. You know what I mean? Just just to be safe. Everybody got their own little preference, but that's just mine. Especially on something like this, because I want to make sure it's... Alright, that one loose, and it's off. The only thing holding that throttle body on there now is that, is that bolt. That nut or that uh, screw that's right on the side of it. So, what I'm going to do is take that off right now. So it's a 13 millimeter. That's what it is. Let me see. Yeah, it's a 13 millimeter. So. And I'm not a mechanic or nothing like that. But if it's like a little problem wrong with my car and I think it's an easy fix, I'm not going to pay a mechanic to do it. I'm going to do it myself. And this for all you do-it-yourselfers out there like myself. Something easy. Plus, it's kind of fun. Just the satisfaction of knowing that you did it just yourself. You know, it's just something about that. Knowing that, man, I, I, just, I did that. And therefore, you know you're going to do it the right way, too. See, this little piece kind of holding it in, that little bolt on there. So I'm going to sit this stuff, sit that up there. And, and here it is, that throttle body. Here it is. See, that's it. I'm not sure what that's all about. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the new one on there real quick.